Well, it's about uh, 10 of 10 on Monday morning, and we are in Great Bridge, Virginia. We stayed here for the night tied up to the free docks. It's an operative word, free. Um, walked into town. There's a lot of amenities really close by for cruisers here. Um, within a mile, uh, we were able to go to the grocery store. There was a DQ, which I didn't succumb to, but wanted to. Um, there's bars, you know, just within a quarter of a mile, maybe less. And there's a ton of secondhand stores here. Um, across the way from us where we're docked right now, there's a couple of marinas, and uh, you can get boat work done here. Uh, there's diesel, gas, all that sort of stuff. Um, and so we are about to go through the 10 o'clock uh, bridge opening here, and then we're going to go into the only lock that we're going to have to go through while we're on the ICW. And uh, then we're going to head north into uh, Norfolk. Um, we're a little bit anxious today to get going. There is a small craft advisory um, in the Chesapeake area near the Potomac uh, for about the time that we were going to hit that area. So we don't really know what we're going to do yet. Um, again, we're on this schedule, um, self-imposed schedule, which we should not have made, but we did, and now we're trying to figure out how to deal with it. Um, we want to be safe. I want to be comfortable. Uh, so we may end up in Deltaville for the night. We may bail out before that. Who knows? We're just going to keep an eye on the forecast and see what happens. Maybe one of our friends will have to drive down and pick us up. <laughs> Anyways, keep you posted. We came into the 10 o'clock bridge opening with no problem. It was a really beautiful day, and there was a bunch of people along the shore watching boats pass by and giving us a friendly wave. We arrived into the dock with no issues whatsoever. We tied up. It was really simple. The dock hands were really friendly, and we just watched the water recede. It took about five minutes, and then we pushed off and headed on our way. Uh, just south of Norfolk, we began to encounter a little bit of boat traffic, uh, mostly commercial traffic, although a few pleasure crafts were cruising by, um, and we enjoyed the scenery. Uh, there was some military vessels um, and just a lot of uh, work happening along the water. And then we came into um, Portsmouth and we saw the anchorage that Drake recommends in his videos. Uh, we had seen it last year, but we decided to tie up at the free docks downtown Portsmouth, which we really enjoyed and got to meet a bunch of other cruisers at. We went by uh, downtown Norfolk and reminisced about the last time we were there as well. All right, we just passed mile marker zero, but I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. The nun, the red nun, says 36. No recognition of the accomplishment. I am sorely disappointed. Once we passed through Norfolk uh, out into re the real military area where they store a lot of the ships, um, we realized that a storm was approaching. To the front of us it was looking really lovely, but behind us there was uh, some pretty big thunderclouds and lots of lightning. And what we were really interested in was this huge warship that was coming out uh, into the bay right behind us. And no sooner than we sort of realized the storm was there, it was upon us. Um, and it brought down quite a lot of rain. And worse than that, there was a ton of fog. And again, our main concern was trying to get out of the way of that huge warship that was plowing out and we just kept a really close eye on it. You can see it here. It looks like it's far away in the video, but as you know, if you've been on a boat, things get close really, really quickly. And so here it just keeps getting closer and getting closer, and we were really trying to get out of its path. Eventually, we made a turn north uh, up into the bay and the sun started coming out and the rain let up, but what didn't let up was a very confused sea state. The boat was getting hit with waves from all different sides it felt like uh, and made for a really nauseating ride. So instead of pressing on uh, up to Annapolis, 
we decided to call it a night in Deltaville. Thanks for joining us on this journey, guys. We've really appreciated all your feedbacks and comments. If you've been enjoying our videos, please give us a thumbs up and join us next time when we finally arrive in Annapolis.